Hello, welcome back to class Great Mind. Today we shall be discussing the characterization in the play The Thinking Head, written by Akim Ajibadi. By the end of the class, you should be able to mention the characters in the play and describe the characters in the play. One of the major characters in the play is Babatunde. Babatunde is Baba Femi's friend. He is described as the thinking head by Baba Femi. Baba Tunde believes education is the best legacy that parents can give their children. Baba Tunde rebukes Baba Femi for withdrawing Femi from school to learn a trade. Also for thinking that those who attend school and those who learn trade are both looking for the same thing, which is money. Babatunde is a rational character. After Baba Femi listened to Babatunde's story, he changed his mind because he was convinced beyond doubt that money is not everything. Babatunde also let Baba Femi know that education brings knowledge, power, and fulfillment. Another major character in the play is Baba Femi. He is Femi's father and Mama Shola's neighbor, Babatunde's friend. He did not attend school, which makes him go into business. Baba Femi has the impression that those who attend school and those who learn trades are after the same thing, which is money. Baba Femi is very brutal. He beats Femi for one week because he playfully threw his master's food away. Later in the play, Baba Femi decides to register Femi back in school after listening to Baba Tunde's story. The next character here is Femi. Femi is Baba Femi's son. His father withdraws him from school because he does not perform well academically. Femi is playful. He threw his master's food away, which makes his father flog him every morning before he goes to work. Femi knows the value of education. He becomes excited when his father decides to send him back to school. Another major character in the play is Mrs. Ajani. She is Jodelola's mother. She is Kolapur's sister. Mrs. Ajani is a politician and treasurer of Food for All Party, FFAP. She does not see educating children as a priority. Mrs. Ajani does not educate her son, JJ Lola, which makes him an illiterate. Mrs. Ajani is self-centered. She, she demanded for too much from Afolabi when he wins the election. She becomes aggrieved in the play when, he, when her demands were not granted her. Mrs. Ajani regrets at the end of the play not educating her son. JJ Lola. JJ Lola is the son of Mrs. Ajani. He is a, a stark illiterate. He cannot express himself in good English. He speaks pidgin English. JJ Lola is very wealthy. He has many cars and houses in the city. JJ Lola is humorous. During his campaign, he evokes laughter. Next character here is Mr. Kolakbo. Mr. Kolakbo is Mrs. Ajani's brother and Afolabi's father. He is a farmer. He knows the importance of education and this makes him sponsor his son Afolabi to the College of Education. He is in support of his son not giving Mrs. Ajani what she demanded. He tells Mrs. Ajani that since she does not see educating her son a priority, she should not reap where she did not sow. Next is Afolabi. Afolabi is known as counselor in the play. Afolabi is educated. He has Nigeria certificate in education. Mrs. Ajani sees Afolabi as a better replacement for her son, JJ Lola, who was disqualified for having no educational qualification and certificates. Afolabi did not meet the demands of Mrs. Ajani because he is highly against money wastage. He is seen as a hypocrite. He does not practice what he preaches. 
He refuses to give money out to Mrs. Ajani and others who asked him for money. But yet, he gives First Lady, his girlfriend, some money. Describing the character of Koro, is Jen Simi's friend. He comments on the activities of the politicians in the play. Koro opposes the nomination of JJ Lola as the councillorship candidate for Food for All Party because he is an illiterate. He does not, Koro does not want to go into politics because he thinks politics is a dirty game for dirty. These are the major characters in the play The Thinking Ed. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class.